Hi, I'm Pastor Mark from Grace Lutheran Congregation, Redcliffe. This is a follow-up video to setting up your home for worship and a family altar. And the purpose of today's video is to reflect on the way you may be able to utilize technology for church at home. Now you may resonate with a different era and feel that technology isn't your natural landscape. But there are a number of things available you may wish to use. Now, for example, you may have your phone, simply a phone, and don't have internet access as such in your home. Uh, and you can access many things there, but be aware that if you do so, it will use up a bit of your data. And some of the things I share later will also apply to you. However, if you have a, a modem in your home, internet access, there are a number of things you also may be able to do. And one of those is to connect your computer to your television screen in your lounge room. And the way you do that is to use what is known as a HDMI cable. The HDMI stands for High Definition Multimedia Interface. And what that means is if you plug your laptop or your computer into your TV, and there's a, a port, a HDMI port, both the picture and the sound will come out through your television instead. And you'll be able to follow on um, from your computer onto your TV. Another way to connect with your television is to do what is known as screencast from your mobile device, your phone or your um, iPad or the like. And to do that, um, you'll need a um, plug-in device for your TV uh, that looks something like this, which is readily, readily obtainable. Or I've just discovered today that some Blu-ray devices, later devices, also enable you to screencast through them onto your television. Now it might sound a little bit difficult, um, but many of us have uh, family members or a friend who'll be able to help us. You may be able to give them a call, or if you follow those government guidelines, they may be able to visit and help and set this up. And what I'm doing now is I'm actually screencasting from my device to the te television. So some of the things I'm doing will also apply if you're just using your device but if you're using your internet access at home, it won't show up data, of course, it'll come uh, from that as well. So here I've got loaded on my device the service order that we sent out last Sunday. So if you get your email and you click on the service order, it will open up the Adobe uh, file, the PDF file that you'll be able to read and follow on the service order. And within that order, as was highlighted last Sunday, there are a number of places that link to other websites that are in blue and underlined. And if you're online and click on these links, they'll take you directly to a website. So for example, last Sunday, and hopefully you can see it on the TV, is a picture of our display in the church, which we set up, and um, we also had the journey to the cross. And underneath it said, you may wish to read Matthew 26, 69 to 75. I'm just expanding there to see. And if I push on that particular link there, Matthew 26, 69 to 75, if I click on that link, it takes me to the website Bible Gateway. And if you scroll down, I'm scrolling down on my device there, um, you'll be able to read that Bible reading as well. The menu finished, of course, you can close that up if you wish, close that particular file and go back to the service order. Afterwards, there are also links to songs you may wish to listen to. In our service order, we have a number of alternatives. We have a hymn or a song, or uh, in some of the ones we'll also in the future also have a children's song, and you can select one of those to listen to. So for example, um, uh, after the uh, sermon, there were uh, two hymns that you could listen to, um, O Spirit of Life, O Spirit of God, or the song Awake My Soul by Chris Tomlin. So I'm going to open that up, and I'm going to click on the one here for Chris Tomlin, and we'll see what happens when I push here on my device, and that goes to the YouTube link. Now, sometimes what might happen is you'll get an ad appear like that, that's just appear, and you push the box, skip ad, and then it'll go straight to the song. And you can control the volume with your T 
TV remote, I've actually muted it, so I'll unmute it there so you can hear that particular song in the background, and I'm going to mute it. And of course, when you are finished with that particular song, you'll, um, I'll just minimize that. You can close that particular one as well, uh, and then go back to the service order and continue with the service order as well. Uh, now, the service order that we've sent out to you uh, each week, it's a simple PDF file. Uh, you'll access that via your email, um, and it, it will eventually be on our website as well. If you wish, you can share that with other family and friends as well. And if you have any suggestions, uh, please send them through to me, either if you've got any song suggestions that you think you would like to listen to, or any suggestions as well please send them through uh, and I'll share them as well. Now, by the way, last Sunday when uh, Kathy and I did worship at home, uh, we set up our um, around our TV something like what you see here on this image. Uh, we had a couple of candles on each side of the TV and we put a uh, crucifix across over our TV uh, as well to help us focus in that worship on home. Uh, you may have other suggestions, as I said, please email me at mark.brinkman at lca.org.au, M-A-R-K dot B-R-I-N-K-M-A-N-N at lca.org.au. May God's blessings be with you uh, as you have church at home.